Hi everybody! Welcome! Don't mind me and my mermaid tail. It's Rebecca Packard. We are creating Maharishi Effect. We come together every day to host a meditation where you can come for four minutes, set intention for peace. Hello Jeanette! Welcome! You can take this four minutes, you can reset, rebalance, and redirect your afternoon. Today it is blustery and pouring rain. It's flooding where I am, but we're inside and we don't care because we're going to meditate and it's fantastic. This is why I have my mermaid tail on. It's my lap blanket and it's the best thing ever and I just love it. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. My name is Rebecca Packard. If you are a regular, we thank you for coming back and taking this time to hold this intention with us. If this is your first time, it's four minutes. We're going to focus on peace. We're going to utilize the meditation practice that we resonate with that holds our attention the best. And by doing this, we're going to set our own intention. We're going to shift the collective consciousness. We're going to create a beautiful energetic ripple in just touch people with peace, which is amazing. It's fantastic. If you are new to this, awesome. No worries. Just focus on peace. If you are well practiced in meditation, welcome. Your energy is going to help other people be focused in their meditation practice because your foundation and your vibration of your calmness and your practice will resonate with everyone else who's participating. So we're super glad that you're here. And it is just about 2 o'clock, so we're going to ask that any meditation practice that you use, whether you're using a mala, whether you're using a mantra, whether you're sitting and holding a mudra, whether you are sitting in a cubicle or sitting on the floor in your kitchen, wherever you are, we're just going to ask that your intention is on peace. And then after, we'll chat for a bit. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we're going to ask that you get focused, get grounded, I like to take a few nice breaths to really center myself as breath is the energy to our battery, right? Our breathing really connects us to self. It helps us to move energy, shift energy, and really become centered. So I like to take some nice deep breaths before I start. You can do that. Maybe that doesn't work for you, but whatever it is that gets you into your space of ready to meditate, We'd like you to start there and then move into the meditation.
fantastic hello hello welcome and so if you were able to participate in this we are so thankful we hold this intention every day we are live streaming Tuesday through Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday we're holding intention on our own and this is a space where I kind of like to talk a little bit about life and about what's going on and so Today I had a really amazing time. I was catching up on some courses that I'm doing and taking um, the Soulful Academy with Andy Love. She's incredible. She is my mentor and a dear friend and I was catching up on a live and it correlated with um, a YouTube that I was watching yesterday and it really resonated because I sat in an airport this past weekend. Hi Kelly! Um, I sat in the um, airport the other weekend, I was standing in line, I was at Starbucks, because who doesn't travel without Starbucks? It's my guilty pleasure when I'm traveling. Um, I try and like hone it down, because my sister-in-law let me know the caloric intake of all those Starbucks. And so I was standing behind this woman, beautiful woman, and she was standing there and all of a sudden I saw her start doing this. <sighs> And she just started like getting undone. And she finally turns to me and says, it is taking them forever. It is a coffee. And I was like, whoo, somebody's in a hurry. Clearly she's under stress. Airports are stressful. Airports are where people are under anxiety. They're under pressure. They're trying to meet deadlines. They're trying to get places. I get it. Be up on your energetic protection when you're in an airport. Like, key, I always teach that to people. Like, utilize your tools, but not everybody has tools. So I was like, I think they're doing their best. I'm like, bubble up, make sure my bubble's up so her energy doesn't touch me. But I was like, I also think that one of these people is training, so they're kind of trying to help each other out. And she was like, maybe they shouldn't put somebody who's on training on a day like today. I'm like, well, it's an airport, every day's busy. But I didn't say anything. But then I thought about it. And yesterday and today, the message was pretty clear about everybody is here to serve a purpose. Everyone you come in contact with is a lesson in your life. Everybody who has a job or is doing a job or is even not doing a job and just crossing your path has a purpose. They said to a man, John F. Kennedy said to a man when he walked through NASA, and the man was a custodian and he was cleaning the floor and he said, sir, what are you doing here today? How's the day going? He said, the day is great. And he said, what are you doing? And he said, I'm helping to put a man on the moon. And he's right because even as a custodian, nothing can happen in NASA without that man cleaning that floor, without that man making sure that all of those spaces are clear and ready for work to take place in those spaces. So then I was on this morning catching a replay from a call that I missed. I was so sad I missed the call because they're always so incredible. And the message again was every single person has a purpose. So are you reaching out to help people to get something or are you just reaching out to help people to help people? We do this meditation every day so that I can get my four minutes, it helps my accountability, but it helps you to be accountable too in your meditation practice. It helps you to take and be in a moment of peace for yourself. And so I'm here to do a meditation, I share the meditation, but I don't look to get anything from the meditation. But we're all here for a reason. We all want to shift the collective consciousness. We all want to put something of positive energy out into the ethers, out into the universe. We all want to interact with everybody around us in a more high vibrational way, in a more focused way, in a more centered way, in a more authentic and true to ourselves way. And the meditation practice helps us to do that. Raising our vibration helps us to do that coming together in a space where maybe you're like me and you're an at-home business person and mom, I'm at my house like 98% of the time, so I'm not out and about. It helps you interact with people in a space where you may not be able to interact with anyone. Or maybe you're out and about all the time and you're crazy and you're doing this and you're doing that and you're going here and you're going there, and this gives you a moment to come back to self. This gives you a moment to come back to stillness. This gives you a moment to return to being. And that's what this is about. And that was the message was that it doesn't matter how big or small, whether it's a smile, whether it's a word, whether you're saying thank you, 
to somebody. It doesn't matter if it's a job or if it's an interaction. There is always an, a lesson. There is always an exchange of energy. There is always something taking place when you're coming into that space, right? So we want to make sure that when we're going out, this month is the um, national national or international day of happiness. Sorry, I'm like, Bleh. um, is March 20th. I like to say that the whole month is the happiness month because I got married this month. I met the love of my life this month. Uh, we celebrate our anniversary this month. It's St. Patrick's Day, so it's like luck of the Irish all month. Um, and it's the International Day of Happiness on March 20th. And so this whole month is filled with happiness. And like today, it said, say thank you. What each day we're going to go through a space of a happy act where you can sit, where you can do or say something to continue a happiness cycle and today's was say thank you just be in gratitude and when we're in gratitude we can acknowledge the people who are continuing that loop who are going in that space of okay we held the door and we said thank you we exchanged a smile we exchanged a compliment or whatnot or somebody did something that seemed so small like the man at nasa most people would say he's not helping to go to the moon. Yes, he is, because without him, nothing else can happen. I always used to say that when I was on an ambulance, when I would go into a hospital and you'd see the janitorial staff. They're the most important people in that hospital. I don't care about the doctors. I mean, we all care about the doctors, but you know what I mean? In the sense of if they don't show up to do their job, nobody else in that building's going to be able to do their job. It doesn't matter. If they go away, nothing else will function in that room. So everybody has a job. Everybody serves a purpose. Everybody. Even the man on the street that's homeless that's standing out asking for a dollar. His purpose is to show you humanity. It might not be at its greatest, but it also may not be at its lowest. And that is a very hard thing for a lot of people to take into grasps. And so when we open ourselves up to be more acknowledging of those spaces and more in a tune with those messages we can see them from a different space and we can show ourselves and those around us how to come from gratitude in those spaces do i hand a homeless man a dollar i surely do why because one i have the abundance i can share the abundance two i have the gratitude for everything that i have so i find that showing my children and showing those around me that being human is allowing me to give this person a dollar, but they're serving a purpose. They're showing a bigger picture. It doesn't, it's not a comfortable place to be. It's not a comfortable topic to talk about. And that's why a lot of people don't talk about it. They want to talk about all these other things. Every single person in every single space of all of our lives and all of this planet serve a purpose. So are we accepting the purpose or are we ignoring the message? And so in today, we want to show gratitude. We want to find peace and we want to share that gratitude. We want to acknowledge that gratitude. All the things that we're grateful for in the moment. I'm grateful that it's raining today because that rain is going to bring the flowers and it's going to bring the grass and it's going to bring all of the things of spring and it's going to wash away all the sand and stuff from winter. I am grateful that it's here today, even though I would really love the sun to be out. But like, I don't know if that makes sense to a lot of people, but that's what I'm getting today, so that's what I'm sharing. So find thanks and find gratitude in all the moments. And then share it. Share it. Tell people, I am grateful for. Thank you for. When you go to a line, it seems like the most seamless little thing, and it's their job to hand me the coffee, but no, say thank you. Um, because you're going to exchange a conversation of vibrational energy. You're having a song and dance with someone, even if you're not talking, even if you don't know them. If you have ever stood on a bus there, or sat on a plane, there's a conversation that takes place, whether we're speaking or not, and it's with your vibrational energy. And so being in a space of gratitude, being in a space of peace, being in a space of self, and being and your centered self and grounded self really makes your conversation high vibrational, which makes all of the things come back to you in a space of gratitude, peace, and love, which is, we're right back at meditation. So 
I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. I hope you enjoy my babbles because sometimes I get on a roll. And um, if you haven't already, come over to Rebecca Packer Live Free on Facebook. Like my page. See what we're doing. See how we're helping people raise their vibration and share gratitude, peace, and love in the world and touch lives just by shifting our vibration and showing up in the world to touch the collective consciousness in a bigger way. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll be holding um, our peace meditation on our own at 2 o'clock Eastern Time on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And we will see you back here live on Tuesday. So, enjoy. Bye.